St. Faustina, the Apostle of Divine Mercy and Her Mystical Journey. St. Faustina Kowalska's journey began in the small village in Poland, where she was born into a devout but humble family of 10 children. Growing up in poverty, Faustina was introduced to a deep sense of faith from a young age, which shaped her entire life. The turning point for Faustina came at the tender age of seven, during an exposition of the Blessed Sacrament, where she first felt called to religious life. Though her parents initially resisted her desire to join a convent, Faustina's unwavering devotion was already shaping the incredible path she would later walk. At the age of 18, while attending a dance, Faustina experienced a profound vision of a suffering Christ. His words, how long shall I put up with you and how long will you keep putting me off? This experience profoundly impacted her, leading her to leave the dance immediately and go to the cathedral to pray. After the vision, alone, Faustina traveled to Warsaw, despite not having permission from her parents and with no money or contacts. She had nothing but her faith and the dress she was wearing. For weeks, she knocked on the doors of different convents, only to be rejected multiple times. Yet, despite the rejections, her faith never wavered. Eventually, the Sisters of Our Lady of Mercy accepted her. Her entry into religious life was not smooth, as she had no dowry and was seen as unremarkable by others. However, through prayer, Faustina received a confirmation from Jesus himself. I admit you, you are in my heart. This pivotal moment marked the beginning of her mission as the Secretary of Divine Mercy. Struggles in the Convent and Jesus' Assurance, 1925. After entering the convent, Faustina soon became disappointed with the lack of time for prayer and considered leaving for a stricter order. One night, while praying, she saw the face of the tortured Jesus and asked him, Who has hurt you so much, Jesus? Jesus responded, You will cause me such pain if you leave this order. Here I have called you, and to no other place. Here I have prepared many graces for you. Faustina immediately repented and remained in the congregation. The Illness of Tuberculosis and Voluntary Sacrifice for Sinners, 1936-1938 Faustina suffered from tuberculosis, which caused her great physical pain. However, she did not complain about her condition, but instead offered her suffering as a voluntary sacrifice for the salvation of sinners. Her willingness to embrace suffering for the sake of others reflects her deep union with Christ's redemptive suffering. Other visions and mystical experiences that Faustina would later have were extraordinary. She not only experienced ecstasies and apparitions of Christ, but also received the gift of bilocation, hidden stigmata, and the ability to read human souls. Despite suffering from tuberculosis, she accepted her pain and illness as a sacrifice for the salvation of sinners. Her life became a testament to the depth of God's mercy and love. Perhaps the most significant moment in her life came in 1931, when Jesus appeared to her with rays of red and pale light emanating from his heart. He commanded her to paint an image of him with the words, Jesus, I trust in you. Although she faced challenges in fulfilling this task, including the difficulty of finding an artist, she persisted with the help of Father Mihao Sapako, her confessor. This image has become one of the most recognizable and powerful symbols of divine mercy worldwide. With the support of her spiritual director, Father Mihao Sapako, the devotion to the divine mercy was born. Her legacy extends far beyond her death in 1938 at the age of 33. The message of divine mercy has since spread to every corner of the world, bringing hope to millions. Through her diary, Divine Mercy in My Soul, Faustina's teachings continue to inspire. Her message is simple, yet profound. 
Trust in God's boundless mercy and show love and compassion to your neighbor. Pope John Paul II, who canonized her in 2000, called her diary the Gospel of Mercy, which offers solace and guidance, especially in times of suffering and hardship. Pope Benedict XVI later emphasized that mercy as the divine power is indeed the chief message of our times, reinforcing the enduring relevance of Faustina's mission. How we can benefit from Faustina's life today. 1. Trust in God's mercy. No matter the struggles or sins in our lives, Faustina's story reminds us that God's mercy is infinite. Her life teaches us to place our complete trust in Jesus, knowing that his love can heal and restore. 2. Perseverance in Faith Faustina faced many trials, from rejections by convents to her physical suffering, yet she never gave up on her calling. Her example challenges us to persist in our own faith journeys, even when obstacles seem overwhelming. 3. Living Mercy in Action Faustina's message was not just about receiving God's mercy, but also about extending it to others. By showing compassion, forgiveness, and love to our neighbors, we can bring God's mercy into the world. 4. Embracing Suffering as a Gift Though Faustina suffered greatly, she transformed her pain into a prayer for the salvation of souls. In our own lives, we can offer up our trials for the good of others, finding meaning even in suffering. Some inspirational quotes from St. Faustina. Jesus, I trust in you. This simple yet powerful prayer can guide us through life's uncertainties. The greatest sinners would achieve great sanctity if only they would trust in my mercy. This reminder from Jesus to Faustina encourages us to never lose hope in God's forgiveness. Mankind will not have peace until it turns with trust to my mercy. Faustina's mission echoes the call to turn to God for healing and peace in a troubled world. St. Faustina's life and legacy remind us of the profound depths of God's love and mercy. Her unwavering faith, despite hardship and suffering, continues to inspire countless souls to seek mercy and extend it to others. Through her story, we are called to trust deeply in God and to live out that trust by being instruments of His mercy in the world. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.